you think? Hmm, why don't you try these ones? I think they'll suit the shape of your face really nicely. Thank you. Yeah. It is very important to ensure that the frame is in its final fitting position before you take any frame or lens related measurements. Good, and the other side. Okay, you can take those off now. It's vital that you make sure you are at the same height as your client. Use a wall mirror to do this if you can. The corneal reflex pupillometer is the only instrument designed to measure the distance between the visual axes and not just the distance between the pupil centres. Before you take the distance PD, set the working distance knob to infinity. Okay, I'm going to take a measurement for your new lenses. So just hold this up to your eyes like it's a pair of binoculars and look straight in the middle of the green circle. Okay, just going to look at your right eye now. The black line should pass through the very centre of the reflex on the client's cornea. And the now dispenser now flicks eye. the occluder lever across to measure the other eye. Just check them both. Ensure to check both eyes for confirmation. Okay, thank you. I'll take that from you. After taking a PD measurement, the dispenser takes the frames to prepare them for measurement. The first alternative for step 3 is to draw your own graticule on the inserts with the help of a parallel rule. This method is sometimes called pre-marking. Mark the horizontal centre line on the lens inserts of the frame and draw a vertical line at the monocular PDs, marking off each 2mm above and below datum with a fine tipped pen. With your client's head at the same level, note the point that is level with the centre of the pupil. Check your measurement by engaging your client in conversation and continuing to note the relevant marking. The second alternative is two small seg height rules, which are positioned in the bottom rim of the frame and clip around the top rim. Note that seg high rules can only be used for full rimmed frames. With your client's head at the same level, Note the point that is level with the centre of the pupil. Here the dispenser is engaging the client in conversation whilst assessing the heights. A third method involves a gauge called the height measurement system this gauge clips onto the frame and the scales can be wound up and down until the top of the scale is in line with the reference point, which in the case of progressives is the centre of the pupil. Unlike the other tools, the Y-Stick 2 has a parallax error compensator, which allows the dispenser to be at varying eye levels. Place the Y-stick on the frames and align the bottom zero mark to the bottom of the frames. After returning the frame, ask the client to stand in a relaxed, natural posture, looking straight ahead. From the side, lightly touch the brake arm to lock the swing assembly. Once the brake arm is locked in place, the Y-stick has aligned the pins to the client's natural position. Once the pins are visually aligned, it shows the dispenser is viewing at a line of sight with no parallax error. The dispenser then looks across to the grid to see where the pupils are dissecting. Finally, we have the eye point gauges. With your client's head at the same level, place the top circles on the gauges to be directly in front of the pupils. Check your measurement by engaging your client in conversation while observing the gauges in relation to the pupils.
The mirror is given to the client to hold like a book while looking at the circle on the mirror. The dispenser views the circle in the mirror to assess if the pupils are aligned with the lower circles. If they are not, the dispenser needs to move the gauges in position for alignment. Just pop those back on again. Okay. And this is the last test. Just look at my open eye. The dispenser needs the client to relax to ensure that his posture is natural. When being measured in step 4, he may be sitting up straight and not in his natural position. The dispenser does this by engaging the client in conversation while continuing to note the positions of the markings. So you can take the frames off now and I'll do one final measurement. Sure. The heights should be measured relative to the deepest point on the lens at the peak of the bevel. Order the lens position according to your monocular PDs and the heights according to the final positioning of the markings.